Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Steve, and here we go. Secret Wars Battle War issue number two review. So we get a comicocd.com review. This is by this is by who? This is by okay. Who is the writer? This is by Aaron Long. Oh, how can I forget that cool dude who is a really masters of a lot of Marvel comic reviews? So here we go with this review. The first story in this issue is a team up featuring Blade and Howard the Duck, an unlikely pair, possibly but a pair with fantastic chemistry. When written by David F. Walker and penciled by J. J. Kirby, this one is a lot of fun with a ton of attitude and some good of vampire slaying. Walker brings some of the attitude from his work on Shaft to this quick tale, and it totally works for Blade. He writes Howard well as well, and the two have a very rocket for Kuhn Groot chemistry. JJ Kirby's art brings a lot of energy to the fire fun tale, and his duck characters look like they have been pulled from Darkwing Duck. And that is a massive compliment coming from me. His style suits the story very well, and if a feeling is ever needed on the Howard, the duck ongoing Kirby has the chops to keep up with the kind of humor associated with Howard. I got some chuckles from the, this first story and I wouldn't be sad if this unlikely duo teamed up again in the future. The second story takes readers to a cool thing that to arcades, Coliseum, a gladiator stadium akin to the Roman times, skates and Tyranny paint a much more bleak picture of battle world and the conditions for some heroes especially if they are anywhere near taskmaster there is an interesting look at general ross in this half of this issue but much of it felt like a stereotypical gladiator story to me we have got a violence against against the only female character in the story why i am not sure a pure a poor storytelling decision in my opinion and hurden warriors taking on the mini so <clears throat> mild spoilers but some redemption for the character who is attacked by taskmaster Nico Minoru would have gone a long way to redeeming this story that felt overly dark for what was actually exposed. The twist with the General Ross assuming the role of a different well established character mildly intrigued me but if this story isn't expanded upon it was a very generic piece featuring a very tired cliche of violence against women that I wish would just go away. The art from Tarini isn't bad though I wasn't overly blown away by anything either. This is a dark tale and extremely violent and Tyranny doesn't hold back. It is a stark a contrast as you will find to the first story which may have added to the jarring nature of the over the top violence. As with any comic featuring two completely different stories, there's a chance one will work and the other won't. So one of these worked for me and the other didn't. So the score reflects this one. <coughs> As being a middle of the road issue on the whole, I'll gladly take more time, more work from the team of Walker and Kirby as the fun leaped from the page in that story. But tired gladiator tales are just not something I'm into. It'll be interesting to um, see if Ross becomes a larger player down the line. Here's hoping if he does this, also some big moments from Nico can we can get over here and here is the thing that we really like it the taskmaster versus the war machine this just happened <clears throat> okay my <clears throat> sorry for that so in a case this is a really cool fight and the good illustrations over there and totally enjoyable so it's a, that's why this book is worth your penny every penny and this is a really good fight scene also so I was thinking that why not make a fight scene from this phone separately and upload that one that will be helpful for you to find a specific fight scene that will be really good. great so hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more amazing shows and just go to store buy this book and enjoy your day have a great day adios